video here, uh, we're going to be talking about why Rota is limited and why Tanky currently is not. I'm not going to be mentioning the Bujin thing where everyone's like, oh, it's support for Bujin. They're pushing Bujin. They're not pushing Bujin anymore. There are actually other reasons behind this. Now, um, before I start, I'm going to put a link in the description and I'm going to sit there and try and figure out how to get one on the screen to We Are Yu-Gi-Oh! channel because he did a video about this on why Tank or why Rota could come back. And this video is not in response to his because I was trying to record this yesterday and post it up. But I thought it was kind of interesting because he happened to post it up at the same time and I realized our, a point, our viewpoints were opposing. So I'd like you to be able to get both sides of the argument. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, Tanky and Rhoda. Rhoda is add, the, add one level four lower warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. Tanky is. When this card is activated, you can add from your deck to your hand one level 4 or lower Beast Warrior type monster. Then while this card is face up on the field, all Beast Warrior monsters you control get 100 attack. Tenki is a level or is a continuous spell card that is searchable by using Bear and Gorilla. Rhoda is just a low is just a regular spell card. Based off of this situation right there, it would sound as if Tenki is a hundred times better than Rhoda. And under these two categories of searchability and the attack boost, that is quote unquote better. But is it better overall as a card? The answer to this question is 100% no. I'm going to start off and say the first deck that comes to mind when I think Rhoda is Ecall with the heroes. They have Ecall and Rhoda, and they have Emergency Call at 3. An argument that I was having with one of my friends about this was, well, if every deck has their own searcher, why can't we have Rota to three? Well, you've got Six Samurai United, or the Sheehan Smoke Signal, you've got Rota, you've got the Tenki, as I was saying, and then you have each one specific for different decks, such as for um, the Gladiator Beast, you've got Gladiator Proving Ground, and just so many other decks have this kind of card. So why couldn't we have Rota come back? Well, heroes have a very very wide amount of cards because of the anime and GX pushing the idea of heroes there were just so many different kinds of cards and topics that you could do and you could have all the different toolbox and all the different amount of cards and stuff that you can do with the cards so ignoring that ignoring that aspect of the game you have many 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 more decks and cards that can use the card Rhoda one of the many decks that could actually use the card Rhoda is another one named Midolche. That doesn't make any sense. Why in the world would you want to search for your Messenger Lotto? Well, with Midolche, you don't need to search for the Messenger Lotto. If you had Rota at 3, you'd be allowed to use consistently Spell Striker and TG Striker, both warrior type monsters that are under level 4 that really, really help the deck. But because we only had one Rota, you'd end up having to play really strange spells to try and get them and have to be able to play other certain monsters to be able to use them. Such as you had to use three TG Striker, or two Striker and three Warwolf if you were going to try and use any TGs, and you were going to have to use, let's say, maybe one or two Tankies so you can search for the Warwolf to search for the Striker. At the same time as you were using the one Rota, and if you were using Spell Striker, you were only using one Rota, and you had to use really bad random spells to just to try and get the Spell Striker's effect off to the maximum use. Now, you're not going to want to have to do this, and that was just one of the many bad things that you'd have to do. With 3 Rota, I can almost guarantee a lot of players would start using Spell Striker and TG Striker again. Now, once again, another deck. We currently have a two card Quasar going on right now. You summon Lone Fire, Tribute Lone Fire for Lone Fire, Tribute Lone Fire for um, the Spore, and then you can get them back and all these, or for the Dandelion, and you can get them back and do all these crazy cards. All you need is the Lone Fire and the Soul Charge. Now, if you're getting the Lone Fire and Soul Charge, you're great, but there's a second card combo that only uses three cards. And what you need is the Soul Charge and two monsters, one Marauding Captain and one level three Earth type monster. Now, what is Marauding Captain? A level three Earth type warrior monster whose effect is normal summon and special summon from your hand, a level four lower monster. What does this mean? If we had three Rota, you could get this combo so much more because Lone Fire has this issue where it's not the most searchable. You can get it, and if you do stuff, you can get it really easily, but it's not as searchable as going, boom, I have boom boom, 
Rota, search summon, summon, summon XCs and get your melee of the trees and just completely go off and do crazy, crazy combos. So, Marauding Captain helps with the cards. Marauding Captain is a level 3 earth warrior monster, which is searchable by Rota. Another deck currently out there, or that's about to come out at least, is the Stellanites. It is a deck that is so toolbox. Every single card works almost with every single other card, and they all have amazing effects which focus on getting cards out to your hand, to the graveyard. Imagine giving them three Rota with their massively expansive warrior type engine right now. They'd be able to get everything they wanted every single game consistently, because not only do their monster effects do it, but now they have the spells that would help them with it. To, if that was not enough, there are more decks like the Six Samurais who can consistently go Shien first turn and they can go Nateria Beast and Nateria Barkion. Imagine giving them a card that said, okay, you can search for any card that you want from your deck, including using your Shien Smoke Signal. Smoke Signal is limited to level 3 and lowers, which is okay. And you've got the Gladiator Proving Ground, which is level 4s and lowers and such. E-Call, which is Hero Monster, correct? And then you've got this. Now, this is not the best card in the game, I can admit. But it is a really, really good one because of all these different outlets. You've got six samurais, heroes, warriors are just, in my opinion, the one of the biggest supported archetypes. Because back in the first series, that was kind of Joey's thing. Warriors and beast warriors and stuff like that. So what do they do? They constantly give warriors new support and new decks and new archetypes and such. And so, giving us a card like Rota back would be terrible. I'm actually going to make this video a little bit longer and talk about why Tenki can be at three. First of all, it's a continuous spell card and its effect can be negated if you chain MST, or if you use Dark Bribe, or if you use any of those cards, you can stop its effect from going. The second thing is, you do search for a monster, but the thing that you search for is not that big because there is a very small toolbox of Beast Warriors out there. You've got the Fire Fist cards, which is Baron Gorilla and sometimes Wolf Bark are the really only main ones there. And the only other cards you search for is the Wind Up Rabbit. There are decks that can use it, like Constellers can use it, Imbujins can use it, but 99% of the time, if they're not going for one of those cards, it's something that you're going to be prepared for, because it's a deck specific around that. A Bujin deck is 100% based around Yamato, and yes, the Tanky does help them, but it's not trying to push Bujin at all, it's just it's a much more fair version of Rota. They had to take away the fact that since you can only use one per turn, they had to give it something else, because first of all, you can only use one per turn, and it's negatable. But you know what else about this card? It stays on the field and gives you a 100 attack point boost, which is a lot. But the thing is, 99% of the time, that 100 attack point boost is not going to do anything. First world problems, I was trying to play the card um, Messenger of Peace in the windups, because my windup rabbit stays on the field and pokes for 14. Well, I can't use Messenger of Peace when I have Tenki out, because now my monster's 1500 attack and I can't do squat. He's just stuck there on the field just like my opponent's monster. Is that a very big problem? No, but it's just proving that not all the time is that 100 attack point bonus going to be nice. And the way that attack point bonuses work in this game, you're going to end up with some bad situations with attacking specific cards. And yeah, 100 is a lot. It is surprisingly a lot. But there are not enough decks out there that you Busted. Now, Bear is splashed into a lot of decks, just like Gorilla and just like the Wolf Bard. But this card itself, Tanky, is not the biggest issue here. With Bujin, if you were trying to hurt Bujin, you shouldn't take out Tanky because that shuts down decks like Constellers who really need to get to their cause and stuff, at the same time as Bujin just limit the Yamato because once you kill it the first time, they're going to have to do a lot of crap to try and get it back. They do have cards that recycle things, but it's not as easy as some people think when you stop them from using their one Yamato. This game is just, people are really freaking out because they think that Rota should come back. But there are so many cards out there. Because yes, there are only a certain amount of decks, and heroes haven't done much, but they're getting a lot of support soon, including their new Stratos, which in my opinion is still really good and works a lot better for the deck than the original Stratos did. Um, but what this deck does, or what this card does for decks, is Rota makes it so you can use cards like Marauding Captain to boost with crazy good XYZs, and you can use cards like Spell Striker to just help fill up your field, and those are just effects that you cannot normally live with without any issues. Those are my opinions, but I used a lot of fact in this, because if you look back at previous formats and stuff, you'll know why this card's been limited. Those are the reasons for the card being limited, 
And that is the reason why Tenki is it. If you think there's anything I missed or if you think I'm wrong, tell me why. Don't just say you're dumb. <laughs> that was weird. Thanks for watching. Yeah.